Hey, how's it going, guys? Today we're gonna try to record the shortest word distance in Python. So, given a list of words and two words, word one and word two return the shortest distance between the two words in the list. So, assume that words are practice makes perfect coding mix. If our input is coding and practice, we can see the coding here. Um, practice here, and the shortest distance is, let's see, practice is at zero, and one, two, three, coding is at three. So three minus zero is three. And um, so if the word one is makes and word two is coding, let's see, makes, makes, we got coding here. So the shortest, shortest distance should be this one, which is one. So the output should be one. So word one and word two are both in the list, and um, word one does not equal to word two. Okay, so those handle some corner cases um, there. Um, so when I first have this problem, I was trying to get the index of word one and the index of word two, and try to get uh, the minimum distance. It, uh, but in that way, the term complexity would be n squared because uh, when you got the list of their indexes, you have to calculate their absolute value, and basically you are going through a nested loop, which makes the time complexity n squared. Um, so that is not the most optimal um, solution to this question. So there is another way, which is less intuitive, but um, it reduces the time complexity to only O of n. And that solution is to keep tracking the index of word 1 and word 2 and updating the uh, minimum absolute distance between the two words. So. Um, because we only go through the list once, um, so the time complexity is go gonna be only n, uh, O of n. So let's try to do it. Let's just code it up and hopefully you can understand better what I mean by that. So basically you're going through the list. So for I am range lens lens of words um, and we remember we are tracking if we encounter word one or word two right so if um word words at the eyes position is word one we have to record um, i, right? So we assign it to a variable, let's call it um, i1. Okay, and if word, word i is word 2, And we assign the i to uh, a variable, let's call it i2. So uh, basically, by doing this, we are trying to record um, the index of word 1 and word 2, right? Um, so because we have two variables here, we should initialize i1 and i2 here. Um, Let's initialize it to minus one because um, remember i1 and i2 are index positions of word one and word two, and minus one is something that we never been through. So we can see here is index position zero, one, two, three, four, right? So if we initialize it at minus one, is something that it has never been been through before. So we just uh, first do that, and um, once we get there, 
um, indexes, we should calculate they are this 